welcome to Clovis, California. We are right in the middle of Old Town Clovis celebrating the 109th year anniversary of the Clovis Rodeo. I'm Lena Marie, your host of the American Dream. So sit back and let's find out why Clovis is truly the way of life. standing here today in front of the Clovis City Hall and I am so honored and lucky today to be able to interview Mayor Pro Tem Bong Manitua. Thank you so much. Well, welcome to Clovis. Thank you. Thank you. For Thank being you. Here. you know, I just want to start with just a little bit of history, just a little bit and why Clovis is so unique. With regards to Clovis, we are unique because it is truly a community. We see ourselves as a table. For example, we have Old Town we have the Rodeo Association, we have a school district, and you have the city. So we form the pillars of a table in which everybody can eat from and take from. And we are always including everyone, and it has remained that way from its inception since its birth. I love that. I love that. And as you mentioned, the rodeo, it happens to be the 109th year anniversary. That's so awesome. Yeah, it's probably one of the oldest traditions here, and it was the women of our community who wanted to get all of us together and celebrate sort of the rich history. And today, it's the same thing. Yeah, everyone being a part of the parade as you witnessed today. I love it. It was an amazing parade, and I just love that it took a woman to start this rodeo. <laughs> I'm all over that. Yeah. We also have a lot of veterans community or, or events here as well, because we have a veterans organization here that's super active in the community. What is the secret sauce to keeping this community together and running just as great as it has? I think it's important to always know how to listen. And as council, as city, we're, we're listening. We're going, how do you want to grow? What do you want? It's traditions like the rodeo, coming out and being a part of the community. Look at all the sponsorships that support the rodeo. We feel like we are a part of this community and we want to keep that feeling for everyone and for future generations. Well, thank you so oh, much. Thank You're you. awesome. Yeah. It was an honor. experience a little bit of old town let's get down and dirty at one of the oldest most prestigious rodeos in the United States I am here with mr. Chuck Grisby he is the director of the Clovis rodeo thank you so much for spending time with me no fantastic I'm glad to have you here how did this all begin oh my god this is our 109th year, so this goes back to 1914. Kind of started off as a gathering for the community, and then it kind of developed in, you know, a cowboy said, you know, I bet you can't ride that horse, and <laughs> oh, I can, I can do that. And so it kind of, you know, just the ranches competing against each other is kind of how it got started. And uh, it's just slowly, you know, grown from, from that point, basically. The financial impact of the Clovis Rodeo on the on the general area is about 12 to 15 million bucks. Wow. This is one of the larger rodeos in the, in the country. And then we, just as an organization, give uh, close to 300,000 back to the community that other nonprofits. Wow. wow, so with all these years, does it just get better and better? How do you guys top it every year? Well, we, it's, it's hard, we, yeah. but we've worked really hard to stay up with the sport, to make sure the money's where it needs to be, to keep this thing growing. You know, you need the volunteers and the people that love to keep this thing going to make it work. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here with me today. And there you go, folks. Thank you for joining me today covering Old Town Clovis. I look forward to seeing you next time on The American Dream.